Hello there. This video will demonstrate time series forecasting using trend adjusted exponential smoothing. This question corresponds to problem 4.19 in your text. The scope of our problem is this. We have a law firm that has provided six periods of historical data from March through July. And we're asked to use trend adjusted exponential smoothing to forecast August's income. The initial forecast we're provided for February is 65,000, and the initial trend adjustment is zero. We're instructed to apply smoothing constants of 0.1 for alpha and 0.2 for beta. So in terms of the data we have then, the forecast for February is 65. We'll just do this in thousands. And the trend for February is zero. Now, a trend adjusted forecast, or FIT, for any particular period is equal to the forecast for that period plus the trend for that period. So where FIT is the trend adjusted forecast, F of course is the forecast, and T is the trend. Well in our formulas, FT or the forecast for any period is equal to alpha times the actual for the previous period, T minus one, plus one minus alpha multiplied by the forecast of the previous period, plus the trend for the previous period. And the trend for the current period is equal to the beta times the current period forecast minus the previous period forecast, plus one minus beta times the previous period's trend. So it's pretty clear that we have to calculate the forecast for the current period first. So in the context of our data and time periods, if we want to calculate the forecast for March, that's going to be equal to 0.1 times the actual for February plus one minus alpha or 0.9 times the forecast for February plus the trend for February. And then if we want the trend for March, that's equal to the beta of 0.2 multiplied by the forecast for March minus the forecast for February plus one minus beta or 0.8 times the trend for February. So now applying numbers to our data, the forecast for March is 0.1 times an actual income for February of 70,000 or just 70 plus one minus alpha 0.9 times the forecast for February, which we're told is 65 plus an initial trend of zero. And that equals 65.5 with some rounding. The trend for March is equal to 0.2 times that 65.5 minus February's forecast of 65 plus 0.8 times February's trend of zero. And that will provide an answer of 0.1. So when you add the two together, the FIT for March or the trend adjusted forecast, and you should get 65.6 roughly with some rounding. I'll illustrate this again once more using April, and then you can stop the video if you like and confirm the remaining values on your own. The forecast for April is equal to an alpha of 0.1 times the actual for March, which is 68.5, plus 0.9 times the previous period's forecast, or March's forecast of 65.5, plus the trend of 0.1. And that works out to about 65.9. The trend for April is 0.2 times the difference between April's forecast of 65.9 minus March's forecast of 65.6 plus 0.8 times March's trend of 0.1. So this equals about 0.16 roughly, and therefore the trend adjusted forecast for April is the sum of those two together, 66.06 .06 due to rounding. And then now I'm going to paste in the solution for this so that you can compare. You can see how close we were. Our unadjusted forecast for February was 65, which was provided, and a trend of zero. For March, our unadjusted forecast was 65.5, a trend of 0.1, and a trend adjusted forecast of 65.6. .6. And then in April, our unadjusted forecast was 65.9 with a trend of 0.16 and an adjusted forecast of 66.05 or 06. So in this table, of course, the income represents the actual, the unadjusted forecast is F, the trend is T, and the adjusted forecast is FIT. And then you can calculate the error between the actual and the forecast, and then uh, you can square it. The table conveniently adds all of the absolute errors 
and the uh, squared errors. And so if we just divide each of these by six, this will give us an MAD of 4.05 and an MSE of 18.87. And then now I'll show you how to use XLOM to do this a lot quicker. So go ahead and launch XLOM and click XLOM in the ribbon, go by chapter. And this time we want for forecasting trend adjusted exponential smoothing. We'll call this 4.19 FIT. We're provided with six periods of historical data by month. We we'll, won't worry about the options just yet. Hit OK. Generates a blank model for us. We'll enter our periods in demand. So we have February. Our demand is 70, 68.5, 64.8, 71.7, 71.3, and 72.8. And finally, our alpha is 0.1 and our beta 0.2. We have an initial forecast as given in the question of 65,000 or just 65 and an initial trend of zero. And if we clean up our decimal places just a little bit here so everything looks easier to read, you can see that our forecasts are virtually identical to what we had done manually. And then of course, what's in the table, our mean absolute deviation of 4.06 and our mean squared error of 18.84 and a mean absolute percentage error that we, we can see a little bit uh, quicker and more easily using XLM of 5.75%. If we were to quickly graph these where we have our periods of demand and our smooth forecast, you can see that our demand varies quite a bit. It drops significantly into April and what this then does is provide a smoothing of that forecast but also factors in any previous trends. And there you have it, trend-adjusted exponential smoothing.